Hey, how's it going guys? Captain Cooper here, and today I'm going to be talking about God of War Fallen God issue number 3. Now, right off the bat, let me say that if you haven't bought this comic yet, don't do it. Don't buy it. I really don't think it's worth your money. For the content that we got in it, $4 is way too expensive. Let me tell you what happens in the comic. So the comic picks up, obviously, right after the second issue ended, Kratos fighting the crocodile. So he beats him with no explanation of who the crocodile is. So Kratos thinks he fulfilled his destiny by killing the crocodile. But the old man tells him once again that his destiny is not yet fulfilled. So Kratos turns around and he sees an even bigger hippopotamus. He goes to punch him, but the hippopotamus just completely destroys him. And then the comic ends. I'm telling you the truth, that is all that happens. There is one additional lore detail that we didn't know before, and, and that is what the prophecy actually is. The old man tells Kratos that the prophecy regarding his life in Egypt is to save the, the innocent from a chaos beast. Before issue number 3, he kept saying that he must fulfill his destiny, but he didn't actually tell Kratos what it was. In issue number 3, he finally tells us what it is. But honestly, that is all you're gonna get lore-wise. All you will see in this comic is just Kratos punching something. Arr, poof, arr, arr. I'm not saying that fighting in a comic is bad. It's good. It's actually quite good. But as the reader, I need to see something else, something more meaty when it comes to the story. None of that happens. Now, I also want to talk about... One specific panel that I completely hated because it's completely out of Kratos' character. When he sees the hippopotamus, he just leaps like Superman and punches him in the nose. When I saw that, it just reminded me of Dragon Ball C or Superman, like completely, a completely overpowered character, and that's not who Kratos is. Sure, he's powerful, but he's a former Spartan general. He's a tactician. Let's look at other times where Kratos has fought a giant beast. Look at the Hydra, for example. He, what did he do to defeat the Hydra? He didn't fly up to it and punch it senseless. No, he took the mass of the ship, broke it down, made a spear out of it, and then he used it to kill the Hydra. Now let's look at Kronos. Once again, he just didn't fly to his face and punch him. Instead, he broke his harness, let the weight of, the, of Pandora's temple push him back, and then he used the Blade of Olympus to kill him. There's none of that bullcrap of him flying around and just punching him like Superman. There is that time in God of War 3 that he did something similar to Poseidon, but he was actually using inertia from Gaia to actually burst through his watery form. But he didn't just jump and catch him, like, no, he had to break his chest. There were a number of steps that he had to do before he could do that. Bottom line, what Kratos does in this panel is completely out of character. And I think the reason they did this is because they didn't want to add three more pages to explain what Kratos was, you know, doing in order to take down the hippopotamus. No, they wanted to stay at 32 pages, so they did something that Kratos would never do. And that's why I'm suggesting not to buy this, this issue at least. It's because it's rewarding their bad behavior. They're just using God of War hype to sell their comics. And there's nothing wrong with that, just as long as you provide a good comic book. I, I really don't think issue number three was a good comic book. It was only a fight with no practically no context to it, no explanation of who the crocodile is or the hippopotamus is, nothing really progressed in Kratos' character, he keeps arguing with the old man about him rambling about destiny, it's the same thing, nothing really has happened. And that's something that worries me about issue number 4, which is supposed to be the final issue in this series. If it's going to succeed, that comic book needs to have lore in every single one of his pages. Because up to this point, it's only been set up after set up, no actual payoff. But anyway, these are just my thoughts on God of War Fallen God issue number three. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm quite surprised that most of you guys actually liked it according to my poll. My girlfriend says the reason I didn't like it is because I don't really read comics that much. And that's true, I really don't. But I was always under the assumption that comics need to have a story in order for them to be somewhat fun. But anyway, this is going to be it for today. As always, thank you so much to all of my members for their monthly support of the channel. You guys are awesome. You guys are the reason why I keep making this video so from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for your support i would also like to thank everyone who likes and shares my videos it may not seem like much but it really does help and if you're new to the channel and like god of war uh, videos make sure to subscribe as that's pretty much all i do in this uh, channel so with that said thanks for watching and remember go forth in the name of ragnarok